Uh, I'm Kelsey uh, Foster from the Utah State Bar. I'm the person that's been emailing you for the last several months. Um, we're now to my favorite part of the job, and that is sarcasm, and that is the bar exam. Um, first of all, please don't blame us for the July 24th date. It's a national date. <laughs> we hate it as much as you do. Um, okay, so basically why I'm here is to just give you guys an overview of what to expect on exam day. Um, which won't take very long. Uh, give you a few pointers of things, stupid things people have done, and then um, answer any questions that maybe you just didn't take the time to email me or were too embarrassed to email me or whatever it was. So um, first of all, please read this. This is the exam guidelines. They were sent on June 25th, and they contain pretty much everything you need to know. Um, although I will add just so, a couple details that maybe you might find helpful. So. The exam is at the Mountain America Credit Union Expo Center. Um, that is Southtown, Southtown Expo Center. I wish they had not changed the name because that is a mouthful. So I'm just calling it the Expo Center from now on. Um, it's, on it's in Sandy, 9575 South State Street. Pretty easy to find, it's a big building. You, we are in Hall 5. There are five halls and they are huge. This is where they put the floats for July 4th, uh, July 24th, excuse me. Um, we are in Hall 5, which is the furthest north. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's the furthest north. So park on the north side of the parking lot. The parking lot is huge. You're not gonna have any problems with parking. Um, you'll enter in the lobby. There will be registration tables and you will pick a line based on your last name. You will sign your name. Um, the people at the table will be checking your picture with your face. So if any of you have changed anything significant, for example, growing a beard or shaving a beard does, it can make you look very different. If you've dyed your hair bright red and it was brown, um, little things like that can just help make things go smoother if you upload a new picture. I also appreciate if you email me if you upload a new picture because I've, we're working on creating the ID cards right now and I don't want to. I want to be able to change it in time. Um, you'll also be given um, the setup instructions for your laptop. So you'll take an admission ticket you'll be given, the laptop instructions and your laptop to the door. They will inspect you at the door, basically make you empty your pockets. Um, they will look at the plastic bag you're supposed to have if you're bringing a wallet and keys. Most people do, but some people are lucky enough to just get dropped off and not worry about it. Um, and they will just look you over. I, we haven't had to have a pat down in a while, but we do have that option if we need to. <laughs> um, so just be aware of that. Um, you're going to go in and on your admission ticket it will have your seat number, including the section you're in. Because it is a big room. A lot of people, there's seven sections, um, so just look at the section and find your seat number. Immediately start setting up your laptop. Please don't go to the bathroom. Um, I start instructions once we've got everybody through registration, and um, we often have people in the bathroom, and I'm just like, we need to start this exam. So I start reading instructions, and people are in the bathroom. So don't be one of those people. Um, let's see. I think that covers what to expect when you get there. Once you get there, we'll have instructions for you, but it's basically take the exam, but yeah. Um, can we keep a laptop in a laptop sleeve, or should we take it out? Take that out. That is, the next thing I was coming to are the biggest problems I run into are people bringing stuff they really can't bring. There's really very limited things you can bring. On the first day, it's your laptop, a jacket or sweater or sweatshirt, um, your picture ID, pens, and then a plastic bag with your um, keys and wallet. That's, that's essentially everything. Um, but review the guidelines to um, verify. The most common things we see um, that people try to get through are stuff like earplugs. We provide those, so you don't need to bring those. Tissues, we provide those. You don't need to bring those. Lotion or lip balm. You can live without it for three and a half hours, okay? <laughs> We're trying to limit the stuff we let in the room because it slows down security, 
and yeah, it's just a mess. Um, computer cases are a big problem. Um, you'll have to leave it out in the lobby or go back out to your car. Um, cell phones, people are pretty good about this, but occasionally, you know, your cell phone kind of becomes a part of you, so you may have put it in your pocket and forgot about it, so that's, I will do one more check before I start the exam, but leave your cell phone at home if possible, um, in your car otherwise. Um, it should not be in the room, otherwise we have to do a big investigation, which is not fun. Um, don't bring any scratch paper or pencils. Um, on day two, we will provide the pencils. Scratch paper is in the question booklets. You will use that. So, any questions about what is and is not allowed? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, now let's go to some stupid things I've seen. Okay. We're getting your laptop. Kind of important. <laughs> Put it by the front door, please. <laughs> um, it, it, you are pretty stressed out, so I understand. So I laugh at you, but I get it. Um, put that and your picture ID by the front door. You do not want to forget those. The laptop you can get by by handwriting, but the picture ID you can't get in the test room, which is not cool. So, can we put our laptop inside a device like a laptop cover? No, leave that at home or in your car. Okay. All right. Um, also, I have a question. How many people still handwrite? The, we're, we're down to about two or three percent, so it's like eight people this time. It's mostly attorneys who take it. Older people. <laughs> so, um, I already told you about bringing your cell phone. Um, bringing a mouse pad or a full size keyboard. Um, a laptop case or a USB drive. Like, take everything out of your computer. You don't need anything in your computer. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty straightforward. There's just no extra equipment allowed. Uh, for getting your photo ID. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, so, if for God forbid something happens to a laptop, is there like some sort of booklet that we immediately yes. start? Yes, you will raise your hand and we will bring you um, a packet of books. <laughs> and, and just so you know, lots, most of the time your laptop will be fixed. So you'll hand write one question and then get your laptop back from the technician. Um, but not always. I just want to let you know that that's the majority of cases. That is what ends up happening. And that's great. I think this was in the email. You said no mouse pads, but can you bring a mouse? Is that mouse is okay. okay? Yes. So. Okay. Oh yeah. Make sure you use more than one clock to like gauge your time. Since we don't allow you to have watches, we do make clocks plenteous in the room. Um, there should be two visible from your seat, usually more, but we guarantee two. Um, and the reason I say use two or more is because you know, they are mechanical devices. We can't always control if one breaks down. Um, I test them before the exam, but I don't know that there's much else I can do. Um, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> you also, um, assuming most of you are using a laptop, you will have a timer on your computer that you can look at, and um, I would recommend that. So, um, oh, when you set up your laptop, you're going to get to a screen that has a big red stop sign that says stop and wait. What do you think you're supposed to do? <laughs> okay, please, please don't go past that screen. Um, yeah. Um, is there a proctor that gives time signals? Okay, yeah. We give one 15 minute warning. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> So, anyway, the, the, the stop and wait thing. Just don't enter the code. Don't, it will tell you, wait for instructions. Please wait for instructions. Um, please do, I, I actually strongly recommend you do bring a jacket or sweater. It seems weird in this weather. Um, but it is a ginormous room. Um, very difficult to keep at a constant temperature. So throughout the test, I'm constantly calling them saying, turn on air conditioning, turn off air conditioning. Turn it on, turn it off. And so um, just... Be, have a jacket so you can turn it on when it gets cold and I have to call them and tell them to turn it off. Um, I mean, it never gets terrible, but for people who find temperature troubling, that's that would be a good idea. And then, um, oh, please don't wear, wear flip-flops or high heels. Um, they echo, so you'll hear yourself walking across the room to the bathroom. And um, 
someone will probably sue me because of it. I don't, you'd be surprised the things people pull as to why they failed. Um, so please help me out. <laughs> then finally, um, please don't forget to upload your essay answers. Um, I wish we had Wi-Fi at the test site. We, we do not. Um, so you're just going to take your computer home, open it, double click, and Examplify will upload. It's, it's, really, it's really easy. Um, so please have a place in mind. If it's not home or your hotel, um, there will be, we will hand out a list of close by places like McDonald's or Barnes & Noble that you can go to if you don't have anywhere else. But I'm guessing most people will be at home or in their hotel room. Um, but please don't take a nap. Um, I think we've had five people do that. <laughs> It's always very tragic because I, I feel very sorry for them, but we can't help them. <laughs> so um, most of the time, it's they go home and they're like, "Well, I'll just take an hour nap and I'll upload when I wake up." And they wake up at 3 a.m. <laughs> messages from Kelsey saying, "Why haven't you uploaded?" So, um, so just don't do that. Okay. So those are the biggest issues I see. Any questions? It does be uploaded by midnight, right? Ten. Ten. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a spell check on it, or should we not worry about it? Don't worry about it. Um, the graders are not looking at it. I mean, if you're misspelling every word, they might look at it. But no, they are looking at contents. They are not looking at that. So if we run into any issues with uploading, do we call the bar? You should call the exam soft. Okay. I would have no idea. If you have trouble that lasts past 10 p.m., that is the one excuse we will accept. Okay. So, or if you go to the emergency room, you're dying. If sorry, I didn't underhear that. If we are still having issues at 10 p.m., do we then call you? Um, I wouldn't mind getting an email. Um, if you have not um, uploaded at all. Please bring your computer the next day, because then we just take your answers off the computer. Um, but I, I haven't had that happen since I've been here. It's about seven years. It's 14 exams. So hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> Do you know like any of the common, I mean I know this is kind of like IT, but do you know any common issues as to why maybe exam soft like failed or like something like that? If like, I knew that, that I would maybe. make so many people happy. No, um, <laughs> the most common thing you run into though I think is freezing and I believe all you do is reboot your computer. Um, do not exit out of exam soft until you're done with the test. So you'll just press the power button and then it will reload and everything will come back and the vast majority of people that will be successful. Um, I think I only have one person handwrite who expected to computer type every exam. So that's a pretty good record. What's the protocol for going to the bathroom and getting water and about how far away? Is Question. It? Okay, so I know I've said this a million times. It is a ginormous room, but um, the restrooms are in the room. Uh, I'm not good at measuring distances, but let, let's say 20 yards from, your, from the furthest seat. Um, and the drinking fountains are right there as well. You are going to take your admission ticket when you go to the bathroom. Um, we've been asked to trap when you use the restroom. And so the proctor will just write your name down and where you went in and when you went out. Um, there are restroom proctors. It's everyone's favorite job. Um, but they just guard the restroom door. Make sure you guys are talking and stuff like that. But so yeah, you'll just take your admission ticket. You can go anytime except during the last 15 minutes. So we're trying to keep the traffic flow as people try to finish up. So. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Regarding the typo question, um, as a bar grader, I can tell you that a typo here and there is not going to be a problem. But if it is so thick with typos, we don't understand what you're trying to say, it will be a problem. So I don't, don't want to very spending often, right? What? We don't see that very often, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want everyone to spend their time backspacing so they can get the word spelled right for every single thing. But make sure there aren't so many typos, what you're trying to convey is not clear. So someone in this room might be setting me up to ask a question that's dumb. <laughs> Um, that if you, uh, I was told that if you fail, you can do an automatic retake without waiting until February. Is that false? That is false. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're looking at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Christy. He's looking at it. That's 
not enough questions. Okay. <laughs> it is a long time to wait. If we finish early, can we just leave? Or? No, that, that is a good question, too, because that varies from state to state. We are one of those states you have to stay till the end of the exam. I think uh, with regards to exam soft, because I was having some trouble with it for law school exams, I, I called them and they said if you're having issues with the freezing and stuff, a lot of the time it's because you haven't disabled your antivirus. Mm. So going into no. the exam, maybe think about that. Yeah, and when you enter, they actually do give you one warning that says we recommend you disable your antivirus, and I'm sure that's why. So. <laughs> okay, I will sit right here uh, for a few minutes if you want to come ask a question you didn't want to ask in public, you know, like an accommodation question or something like that. So thanks for coming, guys. I, I hope it just helped you to know a little bit what to expect on exam day. Down just a little, so. Thank you. It's going to be I keep my question. What? <laughs> what heavy subject you said?